What is good, guys and girls? It is your boy, Justin Omoe. Have y'all not seen me in so long? I've just been busy, man. I've been busy, busy, busy. So for those who never seen me on the other channel, which, by the way, that's what that is from, I am Justin Omoe, a music person. I've just been so busy over there, upgrading things, taking small steps, little by little, to be able to be content with myself to be able to come back and make music. It's been years, man. Years upon years have been years. Although I've been writing some songs to say, hey, I'm going to record it. And then I never had the chance because of COVID, as a lot of us have hardships, you know, for that year because of it. But yeah, man, I am declaring that I am back for music. I am definitely back for making music. I want to talk to y'all today about some goals that I have in mind that I want to do, not just for music, but me as myself. By the way, if you guys and girls don't want to hear me talking about my stuff, of my life then by all means unsubscribe it's not the place for you i intend to use this channel to express myself to you guys and girls as a person as well as to spread my music when i do post it out so expect some vlogs maybe me talking and whatnot progress towards different goals and so forth and hey maybe i'll possibly do better than my other channel once i do take this one more serious and i will be taking a lot more effort putting a lot more effort on this channel than I would on the tutorial in terms of quality. But for those who haven't seen your boy in the longest, I've upgraded myself, I got new gear, you know, stuff for mastering. I have a table. I, I don't even know if y'all seen the two cats. Let me see if I could. Hi. <laughs> Their names are Panda and Winky. Panda's the brown boy, Winky's the black girl. Let me go ahead and just put this thing down. I wanna talk to y'all about my goals now, what I have in mind for this year and what I wanna do. First of all, I'm gonna tell you right now, I want the biggest goal for me in this year, although it may not be reachable now, but I want to take small steps towards the progression of it, is to build a mastering studio in the back of this house, which is my mom's house, which hopefully if I get successful and build a studio on the back there, then I don't know, buy my mom another house and make her live there, <laughs> kick her out. I really love this house that I'm in. It feels content for me, but it also feels content for my mom. But you know, it's all good. When I do build this mastering studio, if I have to leave, I'll you know convert the mastering studio to like a guest house or another type of place that would benefit my mom, you know? So I do have planning contingencies when it comes to this mastering studio. Yeah, that I may have to remove some pieces and parts, but you know, totally understandable. I've been studying this for about a couple of months, two, three, maybe four, and I've been reading a book on it, a whole bunch of stuff from A, you know, the dirt, dig it out put concrete put the foundation put the rebars well in the in the concrete um then build the walls put the walls around and all stuff double walls double doors create the doors insulation soundproofing baffle box all those type of things i've read it i learned up on it and i will you know continue to learn as the time goes by that's the biggest goal that i have for this year and I am nowhere near $30,000, so I don't expect this to be done within a year. Um, but hey, you never know what life could do for y'all, you know? And in order for me to help build myself with the finances, of course, I'm going to be making more music. Hopefully, I could become more successful with it. I have other things that I will explain later in the video. But as far as being an artist, the hardest thing, hardest an artist, <laughs> I'm sorry. The hardest thing for me as an artist right now is being able to record in an environment where, you know, the sound, the room is treated, which this is an okay room. This is where I've been recording everything, but a place where I could freely express myself without thinking about my other family members, my two little brothers, my mom. I don't want them to hear me and I don't want to hear them as well. So that's going to lead into another goal that I have that I want to do within January and February, which is use this space right here. So I don't know if, yeah, you can see it very well. And I'm sorry for all the dirt on the floor or dust. I was cleaning up and yeah. But in this corner right here, I want to build a six foot, four foot or four foot, six foot uh, recording studio and seven feet high or eight, whatever is best for, you know, the setting and ratios and all that i want that done within either january this month or february and from there i'll be able to you know contently make music so that's going to be my next goal so perhaps you'll see some videos on the progress or updates of that in the future on this channel another goal that i have in mind that i want to do is perhaps lose more weight get myself to the you know perfect spot 
For those who haven't followed me, in November of 2019 till March of 2020, I lost a total of 60 pounds. I feel healthy. I feel happy right now the way I am in terms of weight. But I don't want to sit on this weight and let it grow back. You know, I want to stay healthy. I want to stay happy. I want to lose more weight and get myself at the perfect level. From March 2020 to right now, or look, yeah, to right now, let's say, I gained back about 20 pounds, so that's 30%. That's a big number when you think about it, or 33, whatever. Within the last week, I lost five pounds. I got back into working out, so I feel confident that this is not gonna be a hard task for me to accomplish. So I, I'm so grateful for that. Another goal that I have in mind is going to be game audio, video game audio or music for video games. I wanna jump into this as well. You see, mixing and mastering, which is one of the primary ways that I make money, the other being YouTube. But with video game design, there's always a person or there's always a big, vast audience for this. There's a lot of video game designers, indie designers, people who wants to you know, have these people on their team or would require or want music or sound effects and stuff like that. I feel like it fit perfectly within this. I love video games, first and foremost, check the hat <laughs> but i also had a passion for making video games in the first place before i wanted to make music when i was in middle school um i thought about hey i want to be a game developer you know and nowadays if i do want to pursue that game development like in a in a company degree level i would have to go to washington to learn about you know the video game stuff there get a degree from washington uh, a certain place that i can't remember off the top of my head but that's the degree that people from Nintendo of America would want in order to work with their company and so forth. But in terms of video games, this is not the biggest priority in my mind, but it is a goal that I do want to achieve because my little brother who's 13 years old, he's getting into Unity. I put him into Unity now because he wants to make video games. He's He's been saying it and I feel like the younger the better you know to learn and have a better grasp of this stuff for the future like i have done for myself because they say hey i want to do this i want to be an artist and then they just sit down and watch youtube and gain weight you know my my youngest brother that's what he's doing he wanted to be an artist or you know a drawing artist i bought a thousand dollar tablet for him and he didn't use it he's not using it i was using it for myself as well but my younger brother 13 year old brother he's into it now because he's creating pixels on a program pixeler or art a s e pixel something like that so video game music is something that i want to do for him you know i want to create these sounds in the video game for him you know that'll obviously give him more motivation that will take off stress for him him and that's not part of his job if you want to be a video game designer or coder you know i'm just i want to be there for him that, that's pretty much it i do have a small goal like Creating designs, like I said, with that $1,000 tablet, I don't want to put it to waste. It's a Wacom Cintiq Pro 13, a display drawing tablet. But I want to create design like merchandise, perhaps for this channel, or perhaps in general, like a sticker thing. Like, hey, I want to draw cute little anime girls or something and sell it as stickers. That type of thing. I want to create designs on there, make money, and put that device to work to make me money invest off of that another device that i bought that i feel like i want to invest or i have been trying to is apple digital masters so as you may see i've done mastering or i do mastering here this is my gear right here this alone these two alone cost like 5200 total the macbook pro 13 was like 1350 or so something like that i want to get apple digital masters which is something you have to be invited to from apple because, you know, I bought the MacBook Pro, but it's something that will help me out with my business as well. I think there's just a couple more goals that I have in mind, and that's really it for the year for me. And then the rest is just focusing on doing things, you know. Um, making more music, beats, that's, that's essentials. That'll make me more money, perhaps, as well as build an audience, a fan. Like, you guys and girls, thank you so much. I want to get a little bit more into my religion to learn the religious stuff, not to be a religious person, but to learn it and understand it. Because, hey man, my grandfather, he's been pushing the hell out of all of us to follow his religion. And I don't want this to be about religious. I don't want you to base me off of religion stuff. But, you know, my father, my mom's side is Muslim. So Islam is the religion there. My dad's side is Hindu. 
and I do want to learn about that as well. I've been doing a little bit of research and learning and taking small steps. But I do want to do it for him because he's old, man. He's like 70 years old. And I don't want him to feel like, you know, the disappointments in the descendants of the tree. I want to just let him know that, hey, man, Islam is still in the, in the blood, you know what I'm saying? And hey, maybe it could do good with my character, my brand, my development of music. I know it's probably not the best thing to use religion and music and stuff for Islam. <laughs> So getting into religion will help ease my grandfather, make him feel a little bit more content, but I just hope he doesn't force me into a, a, a marriage. <laughs> That's my only fear. Uh, that plus doing things that I just don't have time for, which is praying five times a day, going to masjid, this and that. I just want to give him the acknowledgement of, hey, I read this whole Quran, the transliteration one, or trans translated. But I think that's really it. I mean, there's there's other small things like I want to perfect myself learning guitar, learning the bass, I don't know, uh, learning Japanese, maybe Arabic. That, that's a hard one, though. All in all, that's pretty much all the goals that I have in mind. The biggest being saving up or building your way to that mastering studio, which is about $30,000 that I have in mind. Um, also, the recording booth, which I will do. And the last one that I mentioned, which was video game development. Yeah, that's the three main things I'm primarily focused on on this year. Are you guys and girls pursuing anything? I would love to hear what you guys and girls want to do because, hey, you guys are, you know, y'all are my audience. I want to connect with y'all. I will be in the comment section talking to each and every one of y'all. So please drop your your goals that you have in mind. And if you have any questions or perhaps any advice that you would wish to gain from me. I mean, whatever topic it may be, you know, I'll try my best to give you my thoughts and ideas and understanding of it. And I would love to learn more about it. Like, shoot, one thing I've been looking on is Opal. And that that's in like... Um, Australia as well as around areas in Mexico or New Mexico one of the two but I love to you know learn from you guys and girls as well so please let me know in the comment section below if you are up about that and hey speaking of that Apple mastering I know it's been a while since I said that if you are on LinkedIn please connect with your boy on LinkedIn I am trying to build that up and hopefully I could gain recognition from bigger companies like EA or Apple in that sense I mean, I already got attentions from people from Apple, but I love to build even more credibility on there. So if you do want to support your boy on LinkedIn, hit your boy up there. It'll be in the comment section, the description, and hey, even on the channel profile. So yeah. Thank you guys and girls for watching. I hope you guys and girls could pursue your... Oops, now's not the best time to fix the lighting. <laughs> but I hope that you guys and girls could pursue your dreams for this year your goals for this year and hey if you feel like you're ever in trouble feel free to hit me up when it comes to your goals and like i said maybe i'll hit uh, well not maybe i will talk about it with y'all and so forth my name is justin omoe and i will see you guys and girls in the next one peace i'm out and please have yourselves a damn good one